Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video we will do a detailed comparison of two mid-range smartphones, the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 with the Xiaomi's Redmi Note 5 Pro. So Xiaomi's Redmi Note 5 Pro is one of the great uh, smartphones in the sub 15k price segment with uh, uh, one of the highly uh, in-demand smartphones and one of the best in terms of the hardware and performance. Uh, so now uh, ASUS is competing with the Redmi Note 5 Pro uh, with uh, the Zenfone Max Pro M1 with almost similar specifications and at a lower price point. So how good is the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 compared to the Redmi Note 5 Pro? So in this video, we'll analyze all the aspects. So first up, let's start off with the design and build quality. So in terms of the design aspect, you can see that uh, they're quite similar in terms of the display. You can see that both have 5.99 inch Full HD plus resolution display. You can see the bezels are slightly uh, uh, larger on the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 uh, when compared to the Redmi Note 5 Pro. On the design aspect, you can see that both these devices are power and volume keys on the right side. The top panel does not have any openings or slots, but we have IR Blaster on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. The bottom panel has a 3.5mm audio jack, the, um, uh, the micro USB charging slot and the speaker unit and left side house the SIM tray and the uh, SD card slot. Now on the rear panel, uh, we have the dual camera setup on both the phones, the pink fingerprint scanner and uh, we have a, a camera setup where there is no projection for the, red, uh, the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 while there is a slight projection for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So uh, the back panel is uh, metal on both these devices so both are quite good in terms of the build quality and the thickness uh, wise uh, we can say that the Redmi Note 5 Pro is slightly uh, uh, slimmer than the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1. The weight distribution is quite similar on both the phones uh, and the weight uh, is again uh, similar on both the phones. So in terms of the design and build quality we can't really choose one winner. Uh, it will lead to our viewers uh, personal choices to design which is better in terms of design and build quality. Now next up let's talk about the display. So both the phones come with 5.99 inch Full HD plus resolution display. Both have 2.5D glass and both have quite good viewing angles and uh, the brightness levels are slightly better on the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 but uh, the Redmi Note 5 Pro is in bad either. So both these devices are quite good. Now the Redmi Note 5 Pro additionally has uh, a Gorilla Glass support while uh, that is missing on the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1. So we would uh, say that the Redmi Note 5 Pro definitely has an advantage here because of the added protection offered. Otherwise, both these devices have quite good display in this price segment. Now next step, the software. So we have a st uh, stock UI on the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 with Android 8.1 out of the box. So that's the latest version of Android while we have uh, uh, the MIUI 9.2 on the Xiaomi's Redmi Note 5 Pro. So the MIUI uh, runs on Android 7.1.2 Nougat out of the box. That's kind of outdated UI. Now additionally, uh, you can see that uh, uh, the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 will be getting two major updates that's promised by the company. But uh, uh, for the Xiaomi's Redmi Note 5 Pro, we are expecting maximum of Android Oreo out of the Oreo update. Other than that, we don't uh, really see uh, Xiaomi providing Android versions, but it will be getting the MIUI updates. But if you're a person who loves uh, customized uh, software, then uh, you should be going with the Xiaomi's MIUI, which offers tons of features. So that's an advantage for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So overall, in terms of software, uh, considering the update cycles, uh, we would say the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 has an advantage. Next step, let's talk about the performance. So both these devices are powered by the Snapdragon 636 octa-core chipset uh, with uh, 4 GB RAM and 64 GB storage. We have also have a 3 GB RAM and 32 GB storage variant on the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1. Now both these devices are really good in terms of the performance and both in terms of the gaming experience as well as DT2 performance. Both are quite similar and uh, does the job pretty well and uh, two of the fastest uh, smartphones in the uh, sub 15k price segment in terms of the performance. So we don't have uh, a winner here. Both these devices are really good and uh, does the job pretty well. Now looking at the other aspect, so we have uh, a triple SIM card slot on the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1. So that means you can use uh, two SIM cards and a micro SD card at the same time while on the Redmi Note 5 Pro it's a hybrid SIM card. So that's an advantage for the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1. Now uh, the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 uh, also supports uh, uh, dual Volte support. So both these SIM cards can use a dual uh, I mean Volte support. Uh, so if you're having two SIM card two Geo SIM cards, you can use the, uh, both the SIM cards at the same time on uh, the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1. That's a feature of uh, uh, the Snapdragon 636 chipset. It is right now not enabled on the Redmi Note 5 Pro, but an update is coming soon to enable that. But as of now, uh, the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 definitely has an edge in that. Now the fingerprint scanner, both have rear mounted fingerprint scanners. So we'll just uh, test out the uh, performance here. 
so you can see that the redmi note 5 pro is faster here again it's faster one more time we'll do so there you go so the redmi note 5 pro is faster in terms of the fingerprint scanner performance now the speaker performance so both have a uh, bottom mounted speakers and uh, here we have uh, asus zenfone max pro with uh, a five magnet speaker that uh, gives a slightly better output and the loudness of the speaker is better on the asus zenfone max pro m1 so if you're a person listening to music and watching movies uh, probably the asus zenfone max pro makes a bit more sense because uh, of the loudness and a slightly better audio performance now talking about the other security option the face unlock the face unlock is right now available on the Xiaomi's Redmi Note 5 Pro uh, the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 as of now does not have face unlock but it will be available uh, in a few days time uh, with via an update so that has been promised by ASUS already now next up let's talk about the camera so we have a, a dual camera setup on both these devices we have a 13 and 5 megapixel camera combination on the Zenfone 5 Zenfone Max Pro M1 while we have a 12 and 5 megapixel camera combination on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and uh, uh, while uh, the Redmi Note 5 Pro supports electronic image stabilization Asus has promised EIS on the uh, Zenfone Max Pro M1 now uh, you can also see that uh, in terms of the front camera we have a 20 megapixel front camera on the Redmi Note 5 Pro while it's an 8 megapixel shooter. So we have done a detailed camera comparison of these two devices so from the camera comparison we could find that uh, while in terms of daylight conditions both these devices perform pretty well in terms of the rear camera performance but when it comes to low light performance and also the selfie experience that's where the Xiaomi's Redmi Note 5 Pro takes the lead and the overall camera performance as of now we would say the Redmi Note 5 Pro is a better choice. So if you are more into taking selfie selfies and uh, using the camera the Redmi Note 5 Pro would be make the better choice. Now next up the battery performance. So without doubt uh, we can say which is a winner here the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 with 5000 mAh uh, capacity battery and also stock Android gives a better battery life when compared to the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So Redmi Note 5 Pro definitely has good battery performance and one of the good uh, smartphones with great battery life but ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 with 5000 capacity battery beats that. Now uh, both these devices does not have any sort of fast charging and takes around uh, two and a half hours to charge the device. Now the pricing. So the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 uh, is starting at a price of 10 triple nine. That's a really great deal for three gigabyte RAM and 32 gigabyte storage. While the four gigabyte RAM and 64 gigabyte storage is priced 12 triple nine. And the Redmi Note 5 Pro uh, four gigabyte RAM and 64 gigabyte storage is priced 13 triple nine. Both these devices have a six gigabyte RAM and 64 gigabyte storage. Again, uh, in that as well, the ASUS Zenfone uh, Max Pro is the lower priced one. So in terms of the pricing, definitely the value for money device would be the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1. Now availability is uh, another criteria to look at because the uh, Redmi Note 5 Pro does not have uh, ready stocks. Uh, it's a flat sale mechanism. But as of now, we are not really sure about uh, how the stocks of the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 will be. Uh, but uh, we are we have been told by ASUS that uh, it will not most probably be a flat sale. Uh, so uh, there will be enough stocks uh, uh, from uh, ASUS. But again, uh, we are not really sure about how the demand would be. So uh, We'll, we'll have to wait and see on the stocks uh, and availability aspect. So now we have done a detailed uh, comparison of all the aspects of these two devices. So which is a better device to buy here? So if you're a person uh, who is uh, more into uh, the latest version of Android and want a great battery life along with uh, additional features like uh, a triple SIM card slot, a better audio performance and also a lower price then ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 makes a perfect choice. But if you want a customized UI with a slightly better camera performance then go for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So out of these two devices, the value for money device would definitely be the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro which uh, is slightly superior in a lot of things, a uh, lot of areas rather uh, including the software, the battery performance, the audio output, triple slot mm -hmm. and the pricing is also the key. So that was a detailed uh, comparison of the Xiaomi's Redmi Note 5 Pro with the newly launched ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1. So hope this video was useful in deciding which device to buy and if you plan to buy these devices, we'll share the link in the description of this video. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.